everyone, I'm Nadine and welcome back to Bookish Nook. This past month I read seven books and two novellas, so let's just jump in. The first book that I read this month was The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, which is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I gave this a 5 out of 5, of course. Rick Riordan can do no wrong. This book was absolutely amazing. I loved every second of it. The next book that I read this month was The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Neto. Um, I got this book in exchange for an honest review, which I did. I'll leave a link to my video um, review of it down below if you want to check it out. But I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I had a few minor issues with it, but overall the book is pretty fun if you're looking for a sort of fantasy um, action ride. The next book that I read is The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, which is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. Once again, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved every second of it. I think this was my absolute favorite book so far because of so much um, Percy and Annabeth because you can never get enough of them. But this series is wrapping up to be one of my absolute favorite series ever. The next book that I read was Witches of East End by Melissa de la Cruz. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars and I was incredibly disappointed. Um, the only reason I was disappointed and ended up giving it 3 stars was because of the ending. Now what I loved most about this book were the characters and sort of the idea driving behind this. So you, this follows um, a mother and her two daughters who are witches and they've been alive for centuries but they've been sort of banned from using their magic and we don't know why, it's just sort of kind of alluded to here and there. You have um, the one daughter who is incredibly book smart and that's what she loves doing and the other daughter who's more risky and takes risks and all bunch of us stuff and the mom is kind of like almost a cool middle. Um, you see them go through these these struggles throughout the book and their characters are so real and so fantastic and I loved it. Um, this is definitely an adult book so do not be mistaken this for a young adult book. That's what I did. I went into this thinking it was a young adult book. Not at all young adult. So what disappointed me was the ending and I'm not going to give anything away so I'm just going to speak in really general terms about the ending. But they took, the story took a different turn than I was expecting it to and not that that's bad or anything because I love when stories, you know, sort of rip the rug under um, from my feet. But I didn't like where this went. I didn't like the story that became like the lore behind these characters and their family and their traditions. I didn't like that. It wasn't explained properly. I felt lost the entire time, the entire ending sequence. So the book really killed it for me at the end and I didn't like where the story went so I will not be continuing this. The next book that I read was Faking It by Kara Cormack. This is sort of the second book in her um, series kind of thing where they're standalone books but you don't really have to read them in order but you're going to be spoiled for certain characters if you don't read them in order kind of thing. But anyways this is a new adult book and I picked this up simply because it was a new adult. I was really looking forward to reading a new adult because I haven't read some in quite a, some while, a while. I ended up giving this a 3.5 or 4 um, stars. I couldn't decide so I'll just leave it in the middle there. Uh, this book follows uh, Cade, who is from her first book, Losing It, as he's sort of trying to get over her um, because she didn't pick him, obviously, and then enters Max, who is looking for a fake boyfriend to fool her parents into thinking she's got her life together so they continue um, supporting her and kind of staying off her back, right? So I loved loved the characters in the book. They were so fantastic. It was so funny. There were so many great moments in this book. Um, but the one thing I didn't like was um, Max's backstory. I felt like it was brushed off um, and it could have had more of an impact on the story if it was developed a little bit further. But overall this was just sort of your generic classic new adult book with a little bit of a spin on it, you know, with the fake boyfriend and everything. But it was okay. I definitely wouldn't recommend it as one of my favorite new adult books. So yes. The next book that I read was Mara by Richard Denny and I love this book. I gave it a 4 to 5 stars. Um, it is a novella that's 70 pages about this girl named Mara who slowly starts sinking into madness. Uh, Richard Denny is a booktuber here on booktube if you didn't know. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He is fantastic and awesome. Definitely go check him out. But uh, he wrote this and I thought it was fantastic. He really did such a great job um, really describing and uh, making the reader feel like Mara is really going insane because you don't know whether to question what she's seeing or to just believe it. 
um, the story was going one way and I was a little disappointed that it was going that way and then he pulled it out and went a completely different way so I was so happy with that. The only thing that I think this novella could have benefited from was a little bit more backstory um, on Mara before she goes insane just to really um, hammer it to the reader that she's not an insane character, she was normal and this starts happening. The next book that I read was The Body Electric by Beth Revis. I love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I did a full video review so I'll link that down below as well but essentially this follows a world that is very futuristic and advanced and our main character has the ability to jump in people's um, memories while they're hooked up to this machine and she's pretty much the only person who can do that so her government employs her to um, sort around people's memories to dismantle a terrorist group such a fantastic book um this is a science fiction standalone book that she's written that takes place in her across universe truly trilogy universe um but you don't have to read this the other um, books to read this one so if that sounds good to you pick this up because it's fantastic the second novella that i read was sparks rise by alexandra bracken and this was phenomenal just like all of alexandra bracken's other work I give it a five out of five stars and this follows sam as she's in thermont after ruby has left and it just sort of follows um what happened to her after she left and it is incredibly heartbreaking and sad and powerful absolutely powerful and um i have read in the afterlight which is the um, which is the, the last book I read this month and um, Sparks Rise sort of feeds into um, In the Afterlight so definitely check it out if you haven't read this yet. So obviously the last book I read is In the Afterlight. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Fantastic conclusion to the trilogy. Beautiful. Alexandra Bracken is amazing. She is such an amazing writer. I'm so surprised. Um, it wraps up everything nicely, you know, we have our characters and everything. The only thing that I wish this book had was a few more chapters to really um, give us solid answers about what's going to happen to these people and to this world because it's sort of, it ends but there is a lot of questions that aren't answered and I don't know if she did that on purpose because she, she's going to write like a novella or something to really wrap things up but it's sort of an open ending 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 but not in the sense that it's completely open ended. So on to my November TBR. I don't have much planned um, because I kind of want to keep it really open but there are a few books that I am for sure reading and that for sure reading I'm definitely going to pick up Miss Marvel, um, the bind up of the little comics. I've heard nothing but fantastic things from this so I cannot wait to read it. The second book that I'm for sure picking up is obviously Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins with the book I and mean, with the movie coming out. Definitely got to reread this. I think the first time and only time that I've read this actually is on the day it came out. How long ago was that? Four years ago. I read this four years ago in one sitting. I think it took me six hours. I literally cannot remember anything that happens in this book so I am going into this sort of as if it's my first time reading again and I cannot wait. The next book that I am for sure reading and that is The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. I am still waiting for my copy to come in the mail. I ordered the special sign limited edition um, so I cannot wait to read that so if you've read it please don't spoil me down below um, because I haven't read it yet. And the last book that I'm for sure reading this month is of course The Retribution of Mara Dyer which is supposed to come out tomorrow the 4th so I cannot wait for that. I think I'm going to reread the last few chapters of The Evolution of Mara Dyer just to get me back into the swing of things I kind of forget what happens at the ending. But yes, I am super excited for that. So those are all the books I've read and planned on reading. Let me know down below what you've read um, this past month, what you plan on reading in November. Thanks for watching. Bye.